Hey, Justin with Seaboard Marine here. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos on the Albin here. Since I've been doing the YouTube channel for Seaboard, this is the first boat that I've followed from the time we pulled it out of the water on through to hopefully to sea trials. So we're making a series of videos on this project. So you can see we got the motor in, we got the exhaust um, mostly done. The motor mounts are drilled and basically now it's down to just finishing touches. Throttle cable, this end of the throttle cable's in. Frank's working on the gauges. And here's the other end of the new cables. So we're getting there. In this video we'll show you how we did the exhaust and drop the motor in. And uh, more to come. Yeah, we got the 6 BTA for the Albin 28. Yep. Engine startup. Get a flange, custom uh, Seaboard Marine flange. And then we're gonna get a, a three inch pipe that we cut at a certain angle. And then we get a 90, three inch 90. And then we're gonna cut a bell, a uh, five inch bell. So it's gonna go from three to five. So then we're gonna adapt to this fiberglass tubing inside right next to this alternator. Cool. That'll be the next step. Okay, so we got a C-Max exhaust flange. We cut a piece of pipe with a little bit of an angle coming out here. And a few pieces, we just kind of tack it together and just kind of mocking it up here on the actual boat. So you're sweeping it up slightly just to take advantage of the headroom you got. In general, the higher above the water line, the better, right? We want to go as high as we can. So we don't have a lot of, we have a high amount of turbo, so we don't have a lot of room to go up a whole lot higher in this particular application, but we we'll still go up what we can. So this is why we tack it up together first. We, uh, turns out we need to go with a short radius on here, just because of the, we had that one tacked on there, but it was just going a little bit too close to the combing, right? Or too close, what was it gonna hit? Uh, it's too close to tolerance to the hatch, so we need to be a little bit closer to the engine. So you put a little more angle, a little, a little more, more angle. angle on this one. Yeah. Go up higher. Go higher. 
Now I'm gonna tag this. Got a mark there? Move to there. Cool. Yeah. There we go. Then I'm gonna tag this right now, just for, just for right now. Okay, here's the exhaust, almost done. We welded up a lot of it. We've got um, the elbow here with the hose barb for, for the water going out the exhaust. We've got connected here with the fiberglass. I don't know if you can see in there, it's kind of hard to get the camera down in there. And um, we did leave one weld here just in case we need to do any fine tuning to this angle or placement of this thing so the gear set in there everything's pretty much ready to go on the big stuff now it's down to the little stuff like the wiring harness the shift cable the throttle cable and the fuel lines